Assurance also responded to the shooting on Macaulay Avenue early this morning. Local 3's Angela Kim has more on what blood donation levels look like. Is it where we want it to be? No. Is it better than last weekend? Yes. On Sunday morning, officials with Blood Assurance contributed more than 30 units of blood after the Macaulay Avenue shooting. We immediately sent out multiple units of blood and platelets to the area hospital treating these these gunshot victims. Max Wins with Blood Assurance says resources were better this weekend compared to last weekend's shooting, but they still have a ways to go. I don't want to say we're at a good level right now because we have not been at a, a really uh, satisfactory level since March of 2020 when COVID started to wreak its ugly head. He says especially with the 4th of July just a month away, getting more blood donations is crucial. That means there are going to be more accidents on the roads, unfortunately. And when it comes to 4th of July, we know, unfortunately, there are going to be those accidents involving fireworks that are probably going to require uh, some sort of blood transfusion. He encourages people to donate if they can and says he expects a strong response from the Chattanooga community. Uh, the response we see from the community is usually second to none. Uh, I would expect folks and I, I urge folks um, to, to go out and donate in light of what just occurred in Chattanooga. Reporting in Chattanooga, Angela Kim, Local 3 News. To donate blood, you can log on to bloodassurance.org schedule, enter your zip code and find a way to donate that's closest to you.